As tourist season comes to a close in this seaside town, another season is ramping up. It's, it's kind of a rite of passage in the fall for around in a tourist town. For many, closing up shop means more time to focus on high school football. It brings the whole town together in the camaraderie. You know, it, it's all to the credit of the kids because they're the ones that get it done in the field and, and that brings the people out. Wells got it done last year when the team brought home the Class C gold ball. We know how good we are and how good we can be, so we just play 100%. I think we can beat anyone. Players say despite losing 19 seniors since then. Reload instead of rebuild, as like Coach Roach always says. They're confident they can make it back to the big show. The majority of the players on our team know what it feels like, so we're all very hungry to get back there again. We might be small, but we pack a punch. In the home of the Moxie Festival is a team made up of the same stuff. We keep it up. We work hard every year. L's on their helmets, but none on Lisbon's record so far this season. This was uh, a team that wasn't really expected to do a whole lot in the, in the uh, preseason, and uh, I think they've responded well. And you know, with only seven seniors, they've kind of taken upon themselves to you know outwork the competition. They have the same perfect record as Wells, but the Greyhounds feel they are viewed as the underdogs. Yeah, we're definitely the underdog. Nobody's picked us, but we just want to come out and shock the world. A big test for both teams before the playoffs. Well, I'm expecting us to have a good fight. I mean, it's going to be a really good game. 